don't need people to say the F word and stuff for me to be entertained, but I've always found it very odd that if someone's completely startled, they don't say the thing that people most often say. They can go, Jesus! And you just, you can't, you can't do that on broadcast TV. Jesus wept! Stop saying Jesus wept. The runtime is a little more flexible. I'm in the edit bay and I go, how long does it have to be? They go, eh. It's the internet. As actors, we're, we love all the, I mean, if we can shoot the size of the script that it is, because often the scripts would come, and then you'd have to, it would be like cutting out a child. What about guest stars? Who have been some of your favorite guest stars in the past? If John Oliver counts as a guest star, I mean, I think by far he is the favorite because we just adore him and wish he was a regular. Yeah, I wish his show had failed on HBO so he could come back here. John Goodman was an incredible experience just because I don't think I said two words to the guy. I got, I, I, and it's sitting next to him in the makeup chair, I'm like, I'm sitting next to John Goodman. I felt such a profound combination of shame and pride because my words are like worse than the Flintstones sequel. Yeah. I love that. I told you I'm not a petty person. So you have some fantastic new cast members. Tell me about Padgett and Keith. Uh, Keith David is another like John Goodman. You, you just don't really feel incentivized to give him notes. He has the voice of uh, if Darth Vader ate uh, the sun. His voice is like that guy in the X-Men when he takes his visors off and his, his eyes just start shooting lasers out and he can't control it. Yes, they are. Leave him alone. And he's very stoic and so you never know if he understands any of the dialogue he's doing or if he totally gets it or if he hates it. And then he came up to me at one point and said, why is Britta doing this? And to explain the situation, I said, oh, well, she thinks that you did this, and then that's uh, the situation. So when you say pass the potatoes, you mean because you don't want her to poop her pants again. And he went, <laughs> and, and I offered to pay him a billion dollars to follow me for the rest of my life and laugh at everything I say like that. <laughs> the cast has been joking that they're all competing to be new Troy. So who do you think is going to win that competition? Chang is the new Troy. In an ensemble comedy, you kind of need the guy who misinterprets very basic things. His character is literally mentally ill. Ken is one of a kind. Are any of you white people noticing what's happening to this group? Imbalanced. Like, salts are missing. Salts? Yeah, pass the vital salts. <laughs>